Cigar Smoking Vets 2, The Deuce. Cigars, libations, laughter, the lovely Duchess of Cigarello, and some guy named Matt. Cigar Smoking Vets 2, The Deuce. Welcome back to After the 22, and we have a very special guest with us. We are on Stop 22 Tour, as well as Cigar Smoking Vets 2, The Deuce. And if you don't know, I am some guy named Matt. And my very special guest at this time composed and performed the theme song for season two of Cigar Smoking Vets 2, The Deuce, Mr. Daniel Broder. Daniel, welcome to Cigar Smoking Vets 2 as well as Stop 22. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Here, have a toast. Uh. And what are we toasting today, tonight? Well, we're toasting another successful hashtag Stop 22 round. Um, I think it went, went fantastic. Toasting you, my friend, for your service. And uh, I would also like to hand you a extra special gift here. Do what? Extra special gift here. Extra special gift. You scare me because the last time you gave me an extra special gift, it was a triple D stripper. <laughs> well, you know, and she kind of carried the gift that keeps on giving, but that just happens sometimes. Whoa, wait, 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 wait. That, that was <laughs> oh, before oh, the... I wasn't supposed to tell you that, was I? That was before the Duchess <laughs> Cigarello. We're going to leave that one in the past now. Yeah, hey, let bygones be bygones. Now, now first of I all... I thought it was Saigon. Well, well, let the Saigons be <laughs> Saigons. <laughs> Those also stay with you sometimes. <laughs> we, we kid, we kid. But, but no, I, I'm not... We kid, we kid. But all please. Right, all right, man. Uh, but I would definitely, I want, I want to present you with a gift. First of all, I, I can't say that this is going to be very good, but it is CigarSmokingVets.com. We just have a comically large cigar that I can't say it's going to be very good, but it's Holy just, <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> it, it's, it, that's the Bill Clinton special, by the way, so... Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, did, did, does this happen to have Monica Lewinsky's DNA on it? I cannot confirm or deny but you are going to have to define what is is for me to tell you what that is well what is is <laughs> i'll tell you right now here we are on the evening of june the 12th and where are we other than in lebanon tennessee the lovely Coast there's the, there's no sign back here i'm trying to point to a sign that's not there <laughs> yeah, go figure we're at, we're at coach's eastgate grill yes sir you and in the post post production editing, I'm gonna put in some of your performance. Let me tell you something. Number one, you are a damn good performer. Thank you, thank you. With the season two intro, call cigar. By the and I always fuck this up. I know the night girdler. The girdler. Night the girdler. night girdler. Yeah, exactly. That is uh. That is a side project of mine. It's um, that is a strictly electronic project. Yours, yours got the uh, the extra special trick because I normally don't put actual guitar tracks on there. I usually with the Night Girdler, I like to keep it electronic just to do something completely separate. Because I, I I do music of all of, of all sorts. I, it, it doesn't matter what it is. I just like music in general. And though. Uh, when it comes to playing instruments, I tend to be a bit of a purist. I tend to like to beat everything, like, you know, something physically vibrating the sound of air molecules into a microphone, making that happen. But on the other side, I like to kind of experiment with the other side of music, being the electronic side. I grew up on a lot of electronic stuff, too. Um, like the, uh, uh, I can't think of the guy's name off the top of my head. Uh, was it Herbie Hancock? Da, 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 da. Yeah, <laughs> definitely like some Herbie Hancock. I'm getting distracted over here. <laughs> but, uh, hey. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. You're distracted by what? <laughs> well, by the owner uh, or manager of this fantastic establishment who has... Is uh, the beautiful Miss Page back? The beautiful Miss Page is back. She's over here. Beautiful Miss Page, Miss come on back. You're, yeah. you're, you're distracting Daniel over here. <laughs> I know. 
Oh, she's just, she's just playing. Why is it you're playing behind my back? Yeah, I'm not going to tell you. See, I can't tell you at this point. She's holding me to secrecy over here. So what you're saying is the Duchess would get a little jealous. Shh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hey, 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 hey. All right. We kid, we kid, as we always do here on Cigar Smoking Bets to the Deuce. And for those watching on the Stop 22 tour, uh, you'll get used to my humor because from what I understand, this is going to be a regular portion now. What was it, Daniel? Well, uh, or would you prefer me to call you Dan? Yeah, you can call me either one, actually. Can I call you dipshit? Uh, if you want to. I, it wouldn't be the first time I've been called that, you know. <laughs> what, what was it that brought you to... I mean, I, I know, but they don't know. Exactly. What was it that brought you to the Stop 22 tour? All right. Uh, what brought me into hashtag Stop 22? Well, for starters, give you... I guess uh, I have to give you some history in order, in order to kind of tell you how I got involved. In oh, this. please, the floor is uh, yours. All right. So Steve Cochran, one of the founders of this, uh, he and I go back. We go back 25 years. Well, we've known each other. We're old school, like junior high. Yeah, but so. you guys are like 30 years old. <laughs> I wish. Oh, wait, got that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm 30. Yeah, and Miss Page back. over there, she she can't be any more than 25 years old. Exactly. I'm, I'm 29 again. For the for the 15th year? <laughs> yeah, something like, something like that. <laughs> I'm 38, let's just be honest. I don't mind throwing it out. They say you're supposed to fake your age in Nashville. That's all I gotta say about it. No, I'm 38 years old. I was born in 1980. I'm not ashamed of that. I'm happy. I'm proud of it. Uh, I was gonna say that on my desk now. But uh, to go back to it, uh, Steve and I would go back a long way. Um, Another really good friend of ours, we played football together, Michael Hamilton, who's also been a huge part of this. Michael uh, Hamilton, for anybody who doesn't know, works sound yes, for, for the yes. Stop 22 tour. And, and also does most of our recording. He was the uh, sound engineer and producer on uh, Steve's latest EP, American Loser. American Loser, which you can find on iTunes, iTunes and any other uh, downloadable uh, musical. T -U -N -E oh, yeah. tunes, just in Loser. case they don't know. A little bit about Stephen Cochran. Google him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Google him. Uh, but yeah, we. Uh, but anyway, uh, a good friend of ours, uh, a guy named Matt Harder. Uh, we we knew for a long time. That uh, that if I if I I don't mean to be rude here, but if I can please interrupt do. you for a second, please do. Please, please do. I've heard a story about Matt Harder. Uh, and when I when I first read it if you can see it I know you can Matt Harder was one of 22 Matt Harder is part of the inspiration for 22 I ran into Matt he and I, I had not seen him for a number of years just due to how life happens, you know. I moved to Knoxville, to college. He had gone to, uh, he had gone to college, uh, and after 9-11, he had enrolled in the Navy, Steve enrolled in the Marines, Michael enrolled in the Army. Uh, so there, you, 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 you've got three of the five right there. I'm sorry, enlisted, not enrolled. I, I'm, no. using, and, I'm and, using my college boy terms We we, we understand what you're saying, but you, yeah. With your buddies, three of the five branches of service. Right. Three of the five branches. Matt Harder was one. And I want to say this right now. May God rest his soul. Stephen ran into some hard stuff. And in a future, after 22, we'll talk to Stephen about that. I had, uh, I had run into Matt randomly at a Firestone in Madison one day. Madison, Tennessee, Madison, for those Tennessee. of you outside of Middle Madison. Tennessee. But that's where we're from. Uh, um, it is a section of Nashville. Proudly, proudly, proudly represent that place. I'm happy to be from there. Um, but we, we ran into each other and we exchanged phone numbers. 
And I said, man, seriously, let's hang out. It's been a long time. We gotta catch up, man. We gotta catch up. It's been a long time. And uh, and I'll, I'll never forget it because it still haunts me to this day. The last thing I ever heard him say was, "Make sure you call me because you know don't just say you're gonna call. Call, you know." And I said, "Yeah, dude, I will. I will." But at this point, I was I was working a full time job. My I had a two year old son. My wife was pregnant and about to give birth. Literally about a month from then. You just you get you get How long track ago of was life. this? How but, long ago was this? Uh, this was 2013, fall of 2013, in February of 2014. I had literally just lost a. A friend who had, uh, I mean, I don't, he showed some really disturbing behavior patterns and then just died one day. And I've got a song about him. It's called End of, End, of, End of an Era. It's on the second Dirty Jenkins brothel album, Taxodium. But I'm not, I'm not here to plug that. Uh, for, 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 for those that don't understand, what are the signs that you're talking about? Uh, well, what... I'll just say I found out. Uh, I, I actually just found out through Facebook. I, I had Matt's number in my hand, uh, in my in my wallet, and I pulled it out. I said, "Man, I need to give Matt a call." I just, I like something in my head said, "You need to call Matt." Well, for starters, having losing a friend who had just called me a month before he died, I had made this pact to myself that I was going to stop letting this happen. I was going to start calling people and quit letting time go by. And and Matt Harder's name was, I mean, it, it, just, it thumped me in the back of the head. And I was, I gotta call Matt. I, I really gotta call Matt. I, I, we gotta we gotta rekindle this, man. I, I I miss that guy, man. I need to give him a call. And it was real late, and I thought, all right, I'm gonna look him up on Facebook. I'm hit him up on that, and then I'm gonna call him tomorrow. And I saw on Facebook that night that he had passed away. And I found out that it had been suicide due to his issues with post-traumatic stress disorder. And I mean, it just, man, it it hit me in a way that I, I really don't have words for. Because you know, here was a, here was an old friend who just, you know, who I just seen and was just thinking that I gotta call this guy. And you know, I ran into Steve at Matt's funeral and I ran into Michael there. And you know, I mean, just one thing. You know, to another Steve and and uh, Daniel Dean and uh, Sam Tate, they'd all put this uh, organization together, uh, all having you know had issues with post traumatic stress disorder and lost loved ones close to them. As soon as I saw that was going on, I had Steve up some time. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not a veteran. I'm not going to pretend to be. I'm, you know, uh, but I just. I really want to help out with this. It, it would mean the world to me if I could really step in and help out with this, because I would, I would love to help commemorate our friend and help kind of be there with you to help this out. And I mean, just one thing to another, you know, here we are right now, you know. And, and you know, because you've been there since the Tootsie's days, so. It uh, th that was almost, almost three years ago. Yeah, three, just about, yeah. And let me, let me tell you this. Uh, from somebody who's been there, who has attempted suicide three times. But God damn it, I'm here for a reason. Exactly. And a no support from people who didn't serve like you touches my heart. I'll tell you that person. This isn't from any YouTube, okay? Yeah. This isn't from any group or anything. This is from me, Matthew William McLaughlin, who has survived that shit. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your friendship, man. I appreciate you too, man. I appreciate your service and everything you've done with us. What I do is minuscule. You, Stephen, and everybody who's on this Stop 22 tour stage right here at Coach's Eastgate Grill, you have the voices. I don't. I thank you for your voices and putting your talent to work rather than a political agenda. Well, I mean, political agendas are 
in my opinion, what's killing us. I mean, it's the foundation of America. It's everybody coming together in, in operations like this. Just people coming together and saying, you know, we don't care what what you have to say or what empty promise some politician has to make. Like we're we're here. Like we're we're American. We're humans. We're we're right. We're here we're, and we live this shit. Yeah, exactly. We're all in this shit together, one way or the other. And, no. And we're all no. with each other. So. Um, well, I'll say this. Okay, you and I go back three years. Yeah. Tootsies. Let's talk about. Let's talk about that Tootsies night. That was a. Let's not talk about that. I tell you what. No, I tell no, you what. No, 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 the following no, message has been brought to you by Freedom Whiskey Company. <laughs> Cheers, my brother. Cheers. That What's stage that night. That stage. Stephen, one of my closest, dearest friends in 42 years of life. The only show he ever missed in his entire career. Why do I feel like I'm missing boobies? <laughs> you don't want to know, man. Maybe, maybe not. Just, just sitting there. Just sitting there. At any rate. Right. Right, My lips are sad. I don't that think was that. the only, in all of his career, that was the only show that Steven ever missed. And it was a trifecta. Sick grandmama, sick mama, and sick him. Yeah. That place in downtown Nashville triple booked one stage. So what did we do? We went down to Broadway and Third Avenue. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Who bucks that shit? I have Cameron Lockridge and Andy Lockridge. Killed it, man. Karaoke, karaoke doesn't count. I haven't sang in public since before my army days was started in 1998. You do the math. <laughs> I didn't sing that day, but I'll say this right now. I met a man by the name of John. <laughs> I can't even do it. I can't even do it. Really nice. I no. Because that's your song. I can't even look at you in the face without laughing, man. Oh, man. No, let's, let's go. I, I, I appreciate you know it. I think you. I think you. I think you got something behind you. Uh, you know that means I'm gonna have to hang out here for just a little while. Longer. I don't know. All right. I've been in the heat all day. So. You have. You. You've been doing the good, husbandly thing, mowing the lawn. Well, well, but I, I wish it needs it needs mowing. I've been doing other outdoor things. You know, you know, all this is probably gonna get cut out. But this is <laughs> this is this is this is your time to plug. Okay. All right. And I want to ask you right now, because you're a talented singer, you're a talented songwriter. Thank you. Thank you. For crying out loud, you composed and performed "Cigar." which is the season two opening of Cigar Smoking Vets 2. The Deuce. Where can people purchase your music? Uh, right now what I have available is on iTunes. Um, it's uh, so far the releases that I have that are out are under Dirty Jenkins Brothel. Uh, this is a project that was done um, between myself and uh, a good friend of mine, drummer named Andy O'Brien. Um, we recorded these two albums between 2010 and 2015. Uh, now, I know I've got one of them. You don't have a second one? I, I, I've got one that's got uh, the infamous Joe, John Doe. John Doe. John, right. As a matter of fact, yeah, for Doe, those but... watching on uh, Cigar Smoking Vets to The Deuce, I actually went live as I was traveling from Nashville, a three-hour trip to Memphis, Tennessee. I actually... And I was sober, go figure. An Irishman sober, go figure that one. I didn't know that was a such thing. I actually did that last verse. Oh yeah, yeah, you sent me that one. You sent me that. You sent no, me that I didn't send it to you. I think I tagged you in it on Facebook. Yeah, well that's what I'm talking about. You tagged me in that one. Oh, ha, ha, wait. How, how does this start the last part? <laughs> well, I don't know, do we need to edit it? Uh, I think uh, we're getting the we're getting the sign now. So here it is. All right, here, all right, all right. Uh, don't mean to be rude. So what we're going to do here is before before we cut it out, though, uh, let, me, let me give you one more gift here. What? 
One you, more gift. You yeah. gave me the big dick yeah. gift. <laughs> that was the Bill Clinton special. That's that's the cheap shit. Let me give you the real deal. This this right here is a Cohiba. It is from Havana, Cuba, uh, also known as uh, Southern Miami. Uh, this the was island a gift south to me. of Miami. Yes, sir. The island south of Miami, Havana, Cuba. This is a uh, this was a gift from a good friend of mine. So I. Uh, this is one of the last two that I have, and I want to give this up to you as an aficionado that you are of, of great cigars. Um, that's a strong one, man. It is a strong cigar, but it is a real. There's a reason why they've been illegal here, and I think it, I don't think it has to do with the trade embargoes. It's just like somebody got a hold of one. It's like, man, there shouldn't be a cigar that strong, but it's good shit, man. I'm, I'm, I, I'm a cigar lover too. That's why I'm here. You know. You know, and I think cigar lover. So, uh, and I, I definitely want to, you know, give you a gift that I think would be appropriate for your palate, for and, and appropriate for uh, for this channel and this in this show. And and I, from all my heart, I thank you. But we do have to close this this out. This has been after the twenty two, brought to you by Freedom Whiskey, right here. Look for it in your local liquor store. Heroes Vodka. Look for that in your local liquor store, as well as Happen Harry. Remember, 22 veterans commit suicide each and every day. And that's only of the 48 states that report. Veterans are a family amongst ourselves. Amen. Amen. Only we can stop it. Only we can watch out for each other. For cigar smoking vets to the deuce for stop 22 tour my name is matt thank you for watching we love you all